So we talked about why happiness really matters and the fact that we can achieve it. But before we go on to talk about the things we should start doing to feel happier, we need to come to terms with something that's a little problematic about our mind, which is the idea that our minds lie to us. Now this is sort of an odd notion, this idea that our minds might be lying to us, but probably some of you have seen cases where our vision lies to us, right? We all have heard the like phrase, you shouldn't believe everything you see. And if you've been like on the internet, you've probably seen cases of things like visual illusions where you literally can't believe what you see, right? Um, and one of those visual illusions that we often like to talk about is this one. How many of you remember the dress? This kind of came out a few years ago when you guys were kids, right? Um, this is a big thing. Is it blue and black or is it white and gold? This was a good one. My favorite illusion, which you might not have seen, not as popular on the internet, but I'll show you it here, is one that's known as shepherd's tables. Um, the question is, which of these tables is longer in terms of its length? But even though it looks like the one on the left is a little bit longer, what you find when you really measure it is they're exactly the same size. And even when you pull the thing away, your mind still tricks you as soon as you look at it, right? Like, this is your mind lying to you. It's saying that one thing is longer when it's not really in reality, right? We know that our visual system lies to us, but one of the things we're gonna see in this class is that our minds also lie to us a lot in terms of the kinds of things that make us happy. What do I mean by this? Well, probably if I were asked you to scream out, you would have lots of answers to this question. If only I had blank, I would be so happy. Maybe we'll just do a scream out, scream out some answers. If only I had blank, I would be happy. Money. Say again. Oh yeah, yeah. Other answers? A significant other. If only I had money, a relationship, right? Like. Right, like we, we, like we, everybody's laughing because like we have answers to these. We can just like list them off, right? The claim we're going to make for the rest of the class is that this is wrong. In a lot of the cases that you just yelled out, where you're experiencing something that psychologists refer to as miswanting, this is the act of being mistaken about what you're going to like, and even more importantly, how much you're going to like something in the future. It turns out we're just wrong about this stuff. And this is where I begin with a warning for the rest of the videos that are going to come up, which is that you're about to learn that many of the things you think you're going to really need to be happy aren't going to make you as happy as you think. So fair warning in place before we go on to the other videos.